Good morning students. Today our topic is loops in C. A loop repeats the same action many times. The action runs until a terminating condition reach. We have to initiate variable involved before the loop starts. In C there are a number of ways to represent loops. The first we will learn is for loop. A for loop is used to repeat a task a fixed number of times. The syntax of a for loop as you can see for loop initialization, loop guard, increment and then the statement. Now here you have an example of for loop. As you can see from the two line written for the for loop and the statement here i is equal to 0 is the initialization of the loop counter i less than 10 is the loop guard that is repeat until i is greater or equal to 10 i is equal to i plus 1 which is a counter increment it's more commonly written as i plus plus then printf i is percentage d slash n i is the loop statement. Our next loop is while loops. The most basic loop in C is the while loop. The syntax of while loop is given. As you can see, while it's true, repeat the statement terminate when the expression evaluates to false. This is an example of while loop. Just see the program, but be careful about the program. Here in this program, repeatedly prints out powers of 2 until we generate a number greater than or equal to 1000. The terminating condition is thus when the power of 2 equals or exceeds 1000. Now do while loops. It execute only if condition is true. The condition is tested before the execution. Do while loop will execute once before the ten testing of condition. This is the syntax for a do while loop as you can see. Notice that the condition is tested at the end of the block instead of the beginning. So the block will be executed at least once. If the condition is true, we jump back to the beginning of the block and execute it again. A do while loop is almost the same as a while loop except that the loop body is guaranteed to execute at least once. A while loop says loop while the condition is true and execute this block of code. A do while loop says execute this block of code and then continue to loop while the condition is true or not. This is an example of do while loop. But keep in mind in this example that you must include a trailing semicolon after the while. In the above example, in the above example, a common error is to forget that a do while loop must be terminated with a semicolon. Notice that this loop will execute once because it automatically executes before checking the condition. Now here you have some loop question which you have to solve and submit me in next classes. Thank you. Hope this lecture is very helpful to you find about loops. Thank you.